loves welcome back to my channel and a spend the day with me vlog this is gonna be like a fashion week prep video i'm actually at the tox houston which is basically like a detox and i'm having my first experience so the goal is to get this stomach down okay all the way down so we're gonna go in here so i won't be late because i got two minutes and i think i gotta go upstairs and i'm gonna take you guys with me on this fashion week prep vlog Here we go. I just left the tox. It was a lymphatic drainage, like massage. They used something else on me. And all I can say for now is that I feel light. Some of it is uncomfortable. Some of it feels like really weird. It just felt like she was kind of like touching my insides. I don't know. It was it was weird. I'm giving it 72 hours to see like exactly what it does. I want to say she stayed up to 72 hours. And now I wanted to make one more stop because there is a thrift store that is really, really close to the tox. It's called Vintage Supply, and apparently they let you measure it by the pound. So we're going to go in here, shop, see what I can find. I kind of just want maybe like one or two really cool pieces that I can take to Fashion Week. Like, I just want to see what it's giving me. vibes the experience is dope the music is good it's clean it's a dope concept 10 out of 10 i would recommend and i definitely found some things i got maybe like six or seven pieces most of them were like varsity vintage pieces or like lightweight windbreaker jackets i got one little fitted little top though that I think it's gonna be like a really cute like 90s 2000s moment polo Ralph Lauren polo shirt that's just buttery but I'm gonna wear it oversized and I think I might put some short shorts up eat it up I have an idea in my head as we speak kind of like a Jacques Mousse moment Just made myself some dinner i got these green beans and let me tell you something because i've been on trader joe's i'm currently a trader hoe i used this last night it was so good so i put it on the green beans and i'm this whole meal is like trader joe's i'm gonna do like a bed of green beans that's actually a lot of green beans but it's okay because the only thing that I cooked with it was these dumplings. I actually made these dumplings last night and they're vegetable dumplings. But I warmed them up again. Asian zing. I'm just going to drip it over this. Mm -hmm. I got a pack. Like, I have to get this together. So, 
So on this side of the rack, I have pieces that I really want to wear or like staple pieces. So like kind of like those unbasic basics. I'm going to make a whole video about unbasic basics or which is essentially just pieces that you need in your wardrobe that kind of can transcend through any outfit or styling like situation in a sense it's basic pieces but I like unbasic basics because they tend to have more style more pizzazz something that is very unique listen I got a whole concept in my head I'm gonna make the video because I think it's gonna be really really informative essentially so I have kind of like that right there and then all through the middle is either pieces that I was gifted or and that I really just, I need to bring to Fashion Week. I need to wear them. Or pieces that I just know I want to wear. Like the pieces that I planned on wearing. So now, essentially, I'm just putting together my outfits as thoroughly as possible. I'm also thinking of the things that I have confirmed. Because ideally, I would want to wear that brand to like the show or the event or something like that or if I don't have that brand maybe kind of styling a fit or grabbing a piece of my wardrobe that resonates with the brand that looks similar to the brand I also noticed that this fashion week outside of the brands that actually sent me stuff and I'm still waiting on one package from Andrea Ayama and I don't know when that's gonna arrive I don't know. If it doesn't arrive, then I guess I'll just maybe shoot it or something here. But it was supposed to come as Fashion Week, and it is part of their fall collection. So, yeah, just wearing a piece that's kind of, like, similar to their brand's vibe. Definitely want to do that. The other thing is I, I figured out what I want my mood to be this Fashion Week. And my mood is just over the top. It's like extreme confidence. But I want to also give like different vibes. Like one day, let's say if it's more like sexy, one day I want to do like a girly look. One day I want to do like androgynous. One day I want to do like street style. Like I want to mix it up and just give like variety, a bunch of contradictions. So that's another thing. Now that I figured out the vibe, the only thing that I don't like about my rack my rack is that is that I feel like it's too dark like there's not a lot of color on it but I think that's okay because maybe if black is the move black is just the move like we're just gonna take it and run with it so next up is trying on fits putting all of this stuff together so that hopefully by in the morning or even tomorrow evening I can pack <laughs> actually gifted me two pieces so these blue shoes that are absolutely stunning I can't wait to show y'all what those look like and then this blue bag look at them tell me for me I always start off so good but it's coming together right now I got one two three four this is one that I'm thinking well this is one that I'll be wearing for sure so gray blazer and I have it for another outfit but I I just feel like why not wear it with this and then I have this grayscale dress that I haven't worn Amazon sunnies and they're brown but they got like this blue pop I don't know I just think that this is like super cute I'm making so much progress like and I feel really good about the fits I feel like they're different and they still fit my style and so far everything that I've put on or like put together has been comfortable especially in terms of of the shoe options so it's like I don't know I'm feeling good too and then I'm just shopping my wardrobe I'm rediscovering some pieces or just wearing them slightly differently I feel like the shoe selection is still 
like not crazy. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've come to here. Y'all know I shot in this, but I still might pack it. The only thing is it's heavy and now I'm worrying about like the weight of my luggage when I put this stuff in here. And these are still items that I'm considering. I think I'm gonna bring this too. It's a black on brand, it's like this jumpsuit. I showed this in a haul and I think that she's just gonna come because she'll just be like a moment and I'll be cool in her. Like this, this is sick. This denim jacket is everything, I'm bringing her. And then I probably need to throw her in there too. I don't know. These were like extra pieces to style and I want to wear this. So I think I have like an hour, hour and a half left of packing before I need to get dressed. I am going to Everyday People. They're coming to Houston. This was the only reason that I didn't go to Fashion Week when it first started, like on Wednesday, because originally the plan was to get to New York on like Wednesday and come back on Saturday morning, like this morning, but we moved that around. And so now I'm leaving tomorrow morning and I'll come back on Thursday. So I'm, I'm really hoping that I'm not like missing out. I'm giving, I, I have FOMO right now, but either way it goes, I'm going to make do with what I have because I did not want to miss everyday people. So it's like sometimes you got to sacrifice the things that you want to do with the things that you need to do. And I want to play before I do a little bit of work. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So that's what I'm going to do. Y'all have to see how I like mix and mastered this honey for dress. Again, I want to rewear my pieces, but I wanted to rewear it a different way. So let me show y'all kind of what I did. So at the top, I put this target top on top and I'm going to kind of pin it to where it like cinches in, right? I got this faux leather jacket. The only thing is it has shoulder pads in it and the shoulder pads are not prominent enough. Now I bought some extra shoulder pads, but I got to find them where they are. I also need to go ahead and get the shapewear for this dress because it's see-through. So I'm going to have to wear like my little Skims bodysuit because girl, you're going to be able to see everything and the pudge and... My friend just showed up, you know. My auntie decided that she wanted to make an appearance. And I knew, I knew something was telling me that something was off. And then I think I'm going to do my off-white sunglasses to bring in some brown. My Brandon Blackwood bag. It's like I'm taking pieces. Because this could be more of like a summer piece, right? But I'm going to make it more fall, winter. But I'll still be cool enough in it. So I think, yeah. Add some sparkle because... Girl, what's life without a little bit of glam? Always stuff in my bags. I think it's a ring. This and then these Awake Mode heels. Oh, that's going to be cute. And I'm going to strap them up all the way up the leg. Sickening. A better look at what I'm thinking. I'm doing a great job. We're almost there. Almost there. Organized chaos. I promise you it is. So... Here are the bags and the shoes. A couple of extra neutrals, my skincare, a fan that I probably need to charge. That's my makeup that I need to just repack because it's a mess. To travel, you guys already know, I'm taking my away luggage. This is top tier luggage, 10 out of 10. I definitely would recommend. This is a large one because I'm flying Southwest and bags fly for free. So that'll make my life so much easier. That was another thing. I've never flown Southwest to New York. I'm very excited about that. Like very, very excited because I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to worry about my bags, packing, like even because of the airport that I'm leaving out of, because y'all know we have two airports here. I'm leaving out of Hobby. So it's smaller. I think I'm leaving out of Hobby. Oh, I need to check that because now Southwest does leave out of IAH. But Hobby is just more convenient because it's small. I could park on the side of the airport. It's like a whole thing. I could easily walk in. If I go to Bush, I got to get on the shuttle. I got to lug this luggage. Like, I'm going to go ahead and start getting dressed because I need to prepare for 
everyday people. I'm about to pull up on my bestie, get dressed, pull up on her, and then we'll just Uber there so we won't have to worry about this driving. Uber or Lyft there so we won't have to worry about this driving situation. And then I could come home. Should be home by 11. That's the plan. I think I could do it too. Be home by 11. All I'll have to do tonight is put myself in the bag. And then I'm going to get up at 6 in the morning. So, yeah. I never really sleep before flights. So, if I get any more than four hours in, I'm going to be good to go. Like, I'm out here in Miami. But I'll be out in New York looking for the hoochie daddies. What the niggas they get ratchet? back home i realize i'm not built for this it is 11 13 peep it i said i was gonna be home by 11 i didn't i came home i ate i'm in a different shirt let me tell y'all about tonight okay everyday people was a vibe but it just took me back to like the 99s and the 2000s and it was just like the club and it was hot and i can't do it i i am well past that age like i was like i gotta go outside I got to get on my Zoom. I just couldn't do it. So, I'm happy we ended up just kind of like chatting in the parking lot and then bringing it all home. Let me tell y'all about the wardrobe malfunction of the evening. Let's kick off Fashion Week with... Look, wait a minute. Now her knee for zipped. Baby, I wear this corset, okay? Because I've been telling myself, wear your clothes. Like, Lee, you got so many clothes. Wear your clothes. So, I put her on... By the time I got to my bestie's house, well, I guess before we left, this YKK zipper busted. I can't believe she working right now, though. So, at the event, I wore the the zipper. Oh, no, she's not working. She, she's still busted. I wore the zipper half staff, like a flag. And it was just clipped at the top, and it was just this zip, and the whole bottom was open. But we pushed through. My hair covered it up, and... People were so mesmerized with my hair that nobody knew that th the this back was open. So it wasn't even corseting. And then on top of it, like, look at it. This is where the pants hit. I'm a little over halfway through packing. I had to take a second and get on my Zoom because my camera had died. So I'm charging it and I have a headache. I'm not going to lie, everything in my soul and body just says like go to bed but i need to get this stuff packed what's crazy is that i know that i can fit this stuff it's just i know it's gonna be overweight so i'm gonna have to take another luggage but i was talking to my friend tonight and apparently two bags fly for free on southwest you can check two bags so uh, it don't matter at this point because typically my bag is always overweight it's always like 20 pounds overweight it's not even every single time i do a trip like this i have to pay a hundred dollars extra and every single time i ask them can i just buy another bag and they never have another bag see back in the gap most airlines would have like a duffel that you could buy for like 25 dollars, 
and you could check the duffel. So you would end up paying like $50 for a check bag up to 50 pounds versus paying $100 for that 20 pounds overweight. You see what I'm saying? So it, but I don't know. It's never like that anymore. But back to my wardrobe horror story today. Hence why I'm in this arts beats and lyric shirt that my best friend gave me to put on because I bust out of that corset. And what's even crazy about this shirt is she probably got this shirt like three, four years, probably even, no, it's been more like four years ago when we went to Art Beats and Lyrics in Dallas. We've been to this event, Jack Daniels does this event all over, really all over the U.S., and the first time we went, it was in Houston. And then for like two or three years in a row, they did it in Dallas. And then they brought it back to Houston this year. So this is crazy because I remember this time we was in Dallas because we got a bunch of free stuff at that one. The last one in Houston, it was different. It didn't It didn't give. They didn't even check our passes. I could get all into this. They didn't even check our passes. So I got an email from Jack Daniels and they were like, Sorry, we miss you. You didn't miss me. I was at the event. It was just ghetto. like. <laughs> but I was there. The people just weren't checking the passes. And I didn't get the benefits that I wanted. And I didn't like it. But it's not even midnight yet. So that's good. The goal is I'm going to get in this bed about 1230. Whatever is done is done. I'm going to lay down, relax my nerves. Because I can get anxious. And then... If I get anxious and and my thoughts just start going, you know, because they get to going. When they get to going, they get to going. Then I won't be able to calm down. And I don't I don't want that to happen tonight. That's all that I have left to put in the bag. Well, all the clothes that I have left. And then I think in the other bag, I'm just going to put accessories. So maybe I'll do one bag with, like, my clothes, my makeup, my skincare, and I'm going to weigh it. I'll put all the accessories in another bag. It's ghetto out here. But I'm going to end the vlog here. The next time you see me, guys, I will be in fashion or I will be in New York at Fashion Week. And I'll likely vlog that little situation, see what it gives. So I love you guys. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.